Mark here with Walter's World. And we're in Vicenza, Italy, at the Piazza di Signori, like the main square here. Uh, sorry, I'll show you. There's the Basilica. It's not a basilica, it's a church, just called a Basilica by Palladio. It's a tower, really nice. Now, today's video is the five things you're going to love and hate about coming to Vicenza, Italy. Now, usually I don't do the love and hate videos. Sorry for such small towns. However, they're building a new U.S. Army or U.S. military base here. It's going to have 20,000 U.S. soldiers. So I figured I there's going to be a lot of Americans coming here, so I'd make a little kind of military U.S.-centric five things you're going to love and hate about coming to Vicenza. Okay? Now, first thing I have to tell you, I've been to Vicenza in total probably three or four months, and I love it. The people are wonderful here. There's all kinds of great stuff. But there's stuff you're going to like and there's stuff you're going to hate about visiting here. Okay? So, this is for the U.S. military personnel and the people coming here with the base, the stuff that you're going to love and maybe not love so much about coming to Vicenza. Now, the first thing is, I always like to give the, kind of the bad news first. So I'm going to go through the, the things you're not going to like about coming here, because it's something you're really going to hate, just maybe with some little annoyances if you're coming from the U.S. to be here in Vicenza. Now, the first thing is the eating times, okay? When you're coming here to eat, basically the restaurants are open from 12 to 2 for lunch. 2 o'clock, they close up. So make sure you're eating in between those times. Anything you want to eat between 2 and like 7 at night, you're basically looking at McDonald's or going to a cafe for a sandwich, stuff like that. If you want to have pizza or pasta, stuff like that, you're out of luck, okay? So that's the first thing you're not going to like is the eating times uh, at the restaurants because they do close, or the, the kitchen's pretty much close from 2 until about 7. You can still sign up, find a few places that do it, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult, okay? The second thing you're not going to like about Vicenza is the lack of public transport. Now, there are some buses and taxis that are out here, but if you're going out at night, because there are a lot of clubs, a lot of bars to go to, there's basically no public transport after 11.30, and there's very few taxis that work at night. So that will kind of put a hamper on your, your fiesta time, your party time, and stuff like that. So you want to think ahead about that. Okay? The third thing you're not going to like is if you're going shopping, because guys, one thing is in Italy there's great shopping, great sh stores all over. Here in Vicenza, I mean, it's a small town, it's only 100 some odd thousand people, but they do have a lot of shops. They do close as well for a bit near around lunchtime, so if you're you know, taking your lunch break and you want to get some food and do some shopping, you can't do that. You can go take your lunch break to go have lunch. You do your shopping afterwards, okay? So beware of that, okay? Now, the fourth thing you're not going to like about it is the amount of accommodation. Now, Vicenza is a town of only 100,000 people, and they're going to have 20,000 U.S. military personnel here. So there's going to be a lot of families coming in and stuff like that. And finding accommodation can be a little difficult. There are guest houses and some hotels, but it is kind of limited, so make sure you look, you look ahead. And they are building more, so there is the situation will get better, but just be prepared that you might want to, you know, look ahead towards that. Okay? And the fifth thing you're not going to like for the U.S. military personnel that are coming here is you will see some anti-American propaganda, you know, saying no to the base, we don't want them here, you know, Americans go home, stuff like that. Guys, that's, you get crazy people doing graffiti all over. It might make you feel uncomfortable, but guys, believe me, the people here, they love people here. They, you're helping out the economy. They appreciate you spending your money. You're going to be treated fine, so don't worry about it, okay? But that's something you're not going to like. So the five things that the military personnel come into Vicenza, five things you're probably not going to like. One, the, the eating times, okay, you're going to have to adjust your eating schedule if you're going to be eating out. Two, public transport is very limited, especially in the evening. Three, the shop is being closed in the middle of the day, so, you know, when they get shopping done, it can be a problem. Four, there's not a lot of accommodation uh, for, for people coming in. There are some, but, you know, cheap accommodation is a little bit more, well, it's cheaper than Venice and stuff like that, but you just, you know, you're going to want to have more, especially considering how many military personnel are going to be coming here. And five, the anti-American graffiti you'll see around town some places. Again, not anything to really worry about. It just might make you feel a little uncomfortable. Don't worry about it. Just some crazy people, okay? So don't worry. Hi, buddy. Oh, here's my son. He's, uh, he's enjoying Vicenza. Do you like Vicenza, Caleb? So, yeah, and he, he got a nice little snow globe here, which is, if you can see it, it's the Villa Rotonda, because we're going to start with the five things you're going to love about coming to Venice. And the thing is, Palladio... I'm going to talk Andre about this. Okay, I'll talk the about building. this. building. Okay, well, you go to Mom, and I'll talk about this, okay? No, I just want to... Okay. Well, this building here, this is the Villa Rotonda, and it's designed by Andre Andrea Palladio. Basically, if you ever heard of anything called a Palladium, it's based off his work. This guy is probably one of the most influential architects ever. It's from the 1500s, and he has uh, tons of palaces and buildings all throughout the town, because this is his town, and you're going to love that, okay? Hi guys, <laughs> we're back. My son had one to come share some more about Palladio. And think, Andrea Palladio, like I said, one of the most influential uh, architects 
in history, to be honest. Lots of buildings you'll see around the world, big, especially with a lot of English influence, they're based on his design. The Villa Rotunda is his most famous villa. The city, the Basilica I showed you before, he designed that. His influence is all over the city. You walk up the Corso Andrea Palladio, you'll see his palaces. You'll see this is a small town. That isn't a lot, it's not necessarily a rich town, but it is very rich in the architecture that's here from Palladio, and that's just really something special. You get a town so small, but you get to have such amazing architecture. So that's the first thing you love. The architecture and the Palladio, or the Palladium, Palladio, his influence in the town. Second thing you're going to love about it is, if you're going to be here for your military stuff, Vicenza is a good base. Because going to Venice, it's really expensive to stay in Venice. So you can stay in Vicenza, you grab a train. The fast train, it's 20 minutes. The slow train is 45 minutes to get to Venice. So you're very easy to get to Venice. You can get to Verona, Padova, Milan, it's only two hours away. You've got a lot of easy connections to get all around, to see the Veneto, all kinds of stuff. So it's a nice base to go to, so you're going to really like that. So you can stay here in the base, or stay near your family on the base and get to see all kinds of other things very easily. Okay, the third thing I don't like about it is, um, one of the things people like to do here is you like to sit, you go stand at a cafe and you have a spritz con apro, which is basically bubble water with white wine and then they put a splash of an orange liquor into it. That is the drink of Vicenza and the drink of Veneto. So when you go, go join the crowds outside, ask for spritz con apro, stand out there and you can just kind of like get that kind of Italian feel to things and it is very nice. Lots of places, any bar you go to, you say spritz con apro, they'll give you one. It's a nice refreshing drink and also the most popular drink in the city. So you want to make sure you get one of those when you're here, okay? The other thing you're going to like, especially for, for the military personnel, you know, and, and for travelers in general, you know, you go to a country and you want to eat the local food, and the local food in Vicenza is amazing. My personal favorite dish in Italy is bigoli con arna, which is big fat spaghetti noodles, bigoli, with duck sauce, and it is awesome. Imagine your spaghetti bolognese, but with duck bolognese sauce. It is awesome. Be That my, my personal favorite Italian thing. I've been you know, four or five months in Italy, in total six, I don't know, lots of times here in Italy, and that's my favorite dish. But not just the Italian food that's here. Since there is the military base here, this is one of the few cities in Italy where you actually do get a wide variety of restaurants. You want Mexican food? They have good Mexican food here. You want barbecue? They have good barbecue. Now, for all of you saying, oh, you're going to Italy, you should eat Italian food? Yes, you should. But if you're going to be staying here for three or four months, you get kind of tired of eating pasta and pizza. And guys, you know what? Italians don't eat pasta and pizza every single day, and you as a tourist don't have to as well. So that's one of the cool things. You can go, you can have all kinds of different kinds of food here, but again, the Italian food is the best. Big Luke Conarno, you got to have that, okay? Now, the, the fifth thing you're going to like about coming here is the people. Guys, people in Vicenza are very welcoming. They will show you around. They'll tell you what you need to see. They'll, they'll point out all the Palladium stuff. You'll probably find somebody walking the street that'll be a little tour guide for you. The people in Vicenza are super nice. And that's why I feel bad when I see that graffiti. The, the soldiers that come here probably feel that people might not like them so much. The thing is, they do. The people here are amazingly friendly. I love it. That's why I've come. I've stayed here many times. Okay, I have lots of friends here because they bring me back. You know, it's not as famous as Venice or Milan or Rome. It's not as much stuff to do. Do, but the people here are so nice that they make me want to come back. And if you come here, you'll see that as well. Okay? So what are the five things you'll love about coming to uh, coming to Vicenza? If you're the military personnel, first off, you got the Palladio architecture, the Palladio feel. You're going to see buildings like this. Oh no, like like this all over town. This is the Piazza di Signore. That's the Basilica. And you're going to see amazing architecture all over the city because of Palladio, and you're going to enjoy that. So you're really going to feel like you are in Italy. It's not like living in a suburb. You're going to feel like you're actually in Europe. You're actually feeling you're living in Italy. And this is one of the nice things. The architecture throughout the town is amazing. The second thing you're going to love about being here is easy connections to all the other tourist cities you want to check out in the Veneto, in the north, basically in the northeast, or yeah, northeast of Italy. So Venice, very close. Verona, Bologna. I mean, you can part of it. You can get places really, really, really easy from here. Okay. Third thing you're going to love about coming here is, guys, just standing outside the cafe culture of having your spritz con apro. That's really nice. I always enjoy doing it. Okay. The fourth thing you're going to love is the food here because it's the Italian food and the non-Italian food. So you can get the best of both worlds because like I said, for all you are going to write on here and say you're a jerk for not eating pasta every single day. Guys, 
No one eats pasta every single day. Just like in America, we don't eat McDonald's every single day, okay? But you need some variety, and here there's a good variety of international food for such a small town, okay? And the fifth thing you're going to love about coming to Vicenza are the people. I love them. You'll love them. They're friendly. They're helpful. They'll show you around, and you'll have a great time. So if you want to learn more, if you're going to be stationed here in Vicenza, or if you want to, you know, if you're not being stationed, if you're just a tourist, which out Vicenza, or Italy, or anywhere out throughout Europe, South America, the U.S., all kinds of things, check out our website at www. There's three W's. <laughs> Waltersworld.com to learn more. Okay? Oh, also, you can learn some Italian, you can learn some German, you can learn all kinds of languages. Have a nice time and then just enjoy some of the beauty of Vicenza. See you later, guys. Bye.